All right, let's go crude oil. All right, first of all, what we want to do, guys and gals, remember we do these videos, do these videos for you at daytradingthefutures.com. Go to recent videos. And um, let me show you how we do this. It's very simple how to enter these trades. We have a major heads up because of this chart. This is our trend chart. Now, the difference is, is with our trend chart versus a lot of trend charts, a lot of traders use a MAC a move and average convergence divergence which is very lagging it's not leading and you get caught in lagging entries and we do not want that we want to have a major heads up when we want to enter any market now this works in all stocks all forex works on all futures we have a lot of traders that don't even log in the room they just lease our software and they um, they plug and play these templates are already set up for you so what we want to do, the first thing we want to do is we're going to look at this trend chart. That's going to establish our bias. The best way to do it is I got three moving averages on here, and we don't use moving averages for support and resistance. That's worthless. We don't use them for crossover techniques. That's worthless. We use them for trend direction. Now, I got a small MA on here. The beautiful thing about this Rinko bar, we actually build our own server because NinjaTrader does not lock Rinko bars. We've spent a lot of money building our own server to lock this Rinko bar. Why? Because this Rinko bar has a trend filter built into it, and we don't use a Mac or anything crazy like that. That's a, this has a very sophisticated trend filter built into it. What does that mean? It means it allows us not to counter trend trade the market, which if you know any trader that counter trend trades the market, they're typically not a profitable trader. They're typically a losing trader. So we want to avoid that. We want to avoid not counter trend trading the market. We want to buy and sell retracements on overall trend snapback. So the best way to view this chart is this. we got three MAs. The most optimal time to be in the market is if you are below all three MAs. And what I mean by below all three MAs? I mean the open versus close. Any trader will tell you that's been doing this as long as I have, the open versus close is more important than the high versus the low. The high versus the low are what's called wicks are absolutely irrelevant when it comes to looking at price action. What is relevant, especially when you have a trend filter like ours, is the open versus close. That is the body of the candle. That is a big red box, a big green box. The wicks, which are the little wicks, the tails, mean absolutely nothing to me. I'm not concerned about that. So what I want to do is I want to see if I'm trending up or trending down or if I'm chopped. The market can only do two things. That's it. It can either chop or it can trend. And that's been since every since I've been trading uh, late 80s, early 90s, is that it's either going to chop on you or you're going to come into a trend market. If you're in a trend market, we have a very simple setup to get in. There's two ways to really get in the market, and that's it. And with this trend chart and my Fibonacci arrows. So what we want to do is we have a smaller MA right here. The small MA will tell us if we're in a trend market. Now, the most optimal position you want to be in is if you're below all three. But how do I know when we are in a trend? Look at the body of the candle. A 90% candle close below my small MA means you're in trend. It started actually yesterday or last night. And it's been in a downtrend ever since then. So since that bar, if you took any longs at all whatsoever, you are wrong. You are a wrongly positioned trader against the market, and you deserve to get stopped out against your trading opponents. So crude has been short bias ever since last night. Now, if you look coming into this trading day, how can we get in the market then? If we know we're in a downtrend, do we just, if our trend chart says we're down, do we just pull the trigger and short the market? No, too much risk. What we got to do is I want to know the exact bar to get in based upon Fibonacci analysis. So how I'm going to do it is, is I'm going to watch this trend chart, and here's one way I like to do it. As soon as I see, and we have it going on right now, it's happening right now, but we'll go over this one. As soon as I see that bar close green, the open versus close, the opposite color of the trend, I know I have counter trend traders that are entering the market. As soon as that bar closes green, I know I'm catching the wrongly positioned traders. And that educates me to start watching and looking for a short. Simple as that. Don't make it difficult. You'll see hundreds and thousands and thousands of trades with the system with this exact same setup. We only have a couple setups we look for with this new algorithm, and it's very simple to implement. So once that closes green, once it closes green, I want to look at my 
Fibonacci charts. I have a 5 sim and I have a 3 sim. These are my fib, fib charts over here. What I want to do is I want to see the market rebound if it closes green in an area of my symmetry dots. Now symmetry dots, we do sell those as a one-time license for life, but by themselves to me, they're absolutely worthless unless you know when to spot, when to get in. But I know when to look for a symmetry dot entry with an arrow, Fibonacci arrow, if I get a green bar opposite color or trend. Because now I'm catching the wrong position traders and I'm looking for a retracement. So if you notice this high right here, the exact high, and it did it six times yesterday, six times in a row, this exact high right there tells me and educates me that that is going to be the swing possible high of a big short coming up. So as it closes green, you're right here. It moves up, moves up. When I get within two ticks of symmetry, I want to look and see if I get a Fibonacci arrow that fires. I got it. It fired right exactly here. Perfect setup here at 730. Right when that bar closes, I want to enter the market short. My stop loss, I can go in at the 13 tick hard stop. We don't risk more than $130 per trade, but then lower your stop to two ticks above that swing high, whatever it is. It can be anywhere between 9 to 13 ticks on this chart. So I'm risking between $90 to $130 on this last trade. That's my entry. I then, what I can do is use my symmetry dots on the other side of it to look for scaling points. I like going for the second set of symmetry dots for my overall target. There's the first set. Here's the second set where you should be bailing 75%. When you come within two ticks of my symmetry, you should be scaling or, or scaling right there. Sell 50% of your position. And then the other, uh, the other uh, 25%, you can let the runner continue to run, can be right here at 83 or 63 plus 2, so 65. So you got short here at 05. The live fill will be low this bar, well, 05. And then we got down to 62. So you had a $450 trade when you had a major heads up and you caught all those wrongly positioned counter trend traders. $450 trade just like that because you're with the trend. Now look what I'm having happening in live in the market right now. Now I'm getting the counter trend traders are coming in and again, again. So let's look where my symmetry dots are placed. They're right now here at 68.87. So what I want to see is I want to see the market do what? I want to see the market come up in a couple ticks of 67 or 87 and give me a 3 sim Fibonacci arrow short or a 5 sim. So that's how I trade the 5 sim when I get an opposite color bar on this. Let me show you how we did yesterday. Yesterday, thanks for coming to work, we were 6 for 6. Now if you read what I sent out to you guys and gals and we look, over here, I'll just take this solve and I'll just explain it to you. We were six for six on the downtrend because we stayed on the side of the trend chart. Major cells right there. Let's go ahead and let's go in and, and and focus in on this real quick as we're looking for another trade. So now we know the trend started right here. Here's our trend chart. It started at 4 o'clock a.m. Eastern Standard Time in the morning. 90% candle close was right here. That's when our trend started. So our trend chart, our major trend chart, and this is what separates our system with all these other systems, a lot of systems. When I was a guest speaker at Las Vegas Trade Show, I can't tell you how many systems I saw that used the MAC as a trend, as a trend indicator. They name it something else. I'm telling you, 5 out of 10, I believe it was, or 6 out of 10 uses the MAC. That is horrible. It's absolutely worthless, and you're going to get your butt kicked. The MAC is terrible for trend direction when it turns. So what you can do is we've seen that we were below all three MAs. As soon as I saw that green candle right here, that's a counter trend traders, this is exactly where my arrow printed right at the high. Then it comes down, green reversal bar, we're only position traders, arrow prints right at the high. Green bar reversal, arrow prints right at the high. We were six for six. Comes back down. Green bar, green bar, green bar, green bar, green bar. Looking for arrow reversal. Arrow come at 9.50, time of day trade, right at the high. Green bar against trend. We're still against trend. Arrow comes right at the high. So, again, another green bar. Arrow comes right at the high. You're getting what I'm talking about. Now, that's the 5 sim. So, if I look at the 5 sim, yesterday, they all had arrows. I sent out the chart to you guys and gals. Since you guys are trading, I won't put it up there, but I'll show you on this email I sent out to you guys because I don't want to go over the next trade coming up. But if you look, 
at that trade set up, right there they were. Arrow, 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 arrow. All of my two ticks within my symmetry dots, right there. Look how gorgeous it is off my five sim. I don't use my symmetry. I don't use my symmetry dots by themselves. Worthless. I use them with trend direction off my trend chart. I don't use Fibonacci arrows by themselves. Worthless. I use them with the trend chart. The trend has got to be your friend. And we this works in chop. I also trend. Look at my videos. It works in chop the same way. Now, if I look, then I know to use the five sim. How can I use a three sim then? How can I use this three sim over here, the smaller trend chart? I can use the three sim. Let me blow this up when this happens. Now here's the gorgeous thing about the system. Those are all entries based upon my symmetry dots right here. Symmetry dots just like this morning's trade and the Fibonacci arrows within two ticks with my green bar opposite color reversal. Easy trade to remember. I don't care if you have 50 years experience in the market or if you have two hours of experience. Very simple to see. You just got to know what you're doing. Trend chart down, green bar reversals show, counter trend traders, start watching the five sim chart, look for the arrow to fire, there you go. What's my second way? What if the market's too weak? What if the market's too weak and I don't get retracements? How can I get in these markets? What you can do is this. What you can do is watch your trend chart and when you get, this is when the arrows will fire. This is a three sim arrow cell there. This is a three, this is my shorter time frame over here to the far right, I'll show you. This is a three sim arrow there. This is a three sim arrow here. Why? How are those arrows sell? They're not green bar reversals. They're not catching the counter trend traders. Because the market is too weak. And if the market is too weak, I want to stare at this chart now. If I don't get green bar reversals, because this chart will tell me if what? If I got a Fibonacci trade to get in the chart. So what I'll do then is I will watch for Fibonacci reversals. So as I'm moving down, these were all Fibonacci reversals yesterday. These will give you multiple arrow entries. These were all entries. What? Based upon what? What happens is with my trend chart is this. Look at the space that you get between the open versus close and also my small MA. If you get space on any market, any future, stock, Forex, OEX, I don't care what you trade, ETFs, spiders, diamonds, I don't care. If you get space between my smaller MA right here on the open versus close, you're in a hard, hard, hard trend. If you're in a hard trend, I want to see that candle tick enter bar, tick, 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 and touch my bar here. Tick, 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 touch my white MA. Once it touches my white MA, I'm looking to fire in this trade right here. I'm looking to fire in that trade. Get this off so you can see. So those arrows right here on the three sim off of these entries, when it ticks inch your bar and an arrow fires, when the inch your bar ticks, I want to see it. Now, here's a green bar reversal, so we're looking for a deeper retracement off the 5 sim. But if one of these red bars right here, if it tick, 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 and touch my white MA, I would look for a 3 sim short. Right? I would look for a 3 sim short. We never had it here this morning. We never had it tick and touch. That's why we had no arrows on the 3 sim over here, you can see. But when it did it yesterday, when it touched it several times, Here's a great arrow short. It's just multiple entries yesterday. Here's a three sim arrow short right there. So you can use those two ways to get into the market. You can use the opposite color candle to tell you when the counter trend traders are coming in to get in this chart on my Fibonacci retracement when you would come within two ticks. If my enter candle, enter bar candle, since I got major space, it goes tick, 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 tick back up and adds the intra bar as it's touching, not a green bar, but if it's an intra bar, red bar. Then what I'll do, like I said, is I will use this chart, my three sim, my far right, which you did yesterday. Look, look at all these arrows that fired. All in a row, too. One, two, three, four, five. We were five for five on the three sim, and we were six for six on the five sim. All based upon 
trading off this trend chart. You warm up with this trend chart on any market and you do some serious damage. Now, this can be flat. We're going to be flat as a pancake, and I teach traders how to do this. If we're flat and you log in, the MAs are flat, wait to what? Wait to get on the side of the trend, on the side of the small MA, look for a breakout, look for a retest, look for a five or three cent to fire. We did a big trade last week like that. I believe it was Thursday or Friday. I gave you guys a big heads up, and it broke retest. It went down 100, what, 110 ticks, I believe it was. So that's how you trade. So right now, we had, we're going our second possible trade on a retracement. We've not had a three sim trade yet because it's not been strong or weak enough. And if we're flat, we log in, we're flat, and it's not trending because we usually trend three and chop two, you don't even take the arrows. You just trade off market profile until you break outside a profile, then we get back on trend again. 